midnight shopping moment um, and a few things from Zara. So I thought I would just give you a little heads up. I'm going to start by just putting on some boots. I'm optimistic that I found some nice things. I only buy in Zara. My resolution is that it's something that I'm really going to feel that it has quality. So I'm going to spend and buy the more expensive things in Zara. First up, jacket coat. And I love the detail on the website. I love the fact that it was collarless and it had that double frayed edge. I thought that was quite chic. Premium quality fabrics. It's got that mateco whenever they have things. And we're still, that's what they're trying to do. So I'm not somebody who would really gravitate towards oatmeal, but it is an incredibly chic color. The sleeve length is great. It's a very nice way to do winter white without being too white. You know, it's, it, oatmeal is a color that can take a bit of dirt. Not that you want to get it dirty, but if it's a pure white winter white coat, it wouldn't work. It's a clean cut, no fuss. This is for a minimalist kind of dresser. I always do this little test of just scrunching up the fabric and seeing how quickly it creases. Now there is a bit of creasing there, do you see, like that. So that would be my worry with this. You just don't want fabric to be creasing when it's in a coat. That does concern me. It's not itchy, which I like, and it has a back flap, which is at a good location. So I think as merit, and next up I would want to try it with things in my wardrobe, but with jeans it would be great, and it's whether that color washes me out or whether it's a color you can then layer on other oatmeal-y things like these kind of scarf colors like that. This one, which is a really, I can't remember where I got scarf, I think it was in India. You wanted to keep that whole look. This is a color I would then need a good lip for. I'd need a red lip. I'm just gonna do some Lara lip glow, which is the easiest way to do a red. It does make it look better and fresher. It's really nice, I don't have this color in my wardrobe. I think I need to do a bit of kind of crease practice tonight. And there's nothing worse than a permanently creased sleeve when you've got a coat. But it's also the kind of coat that you can wear indoors. You know, when you're a little bit chilly and you don't want to take your coat off. It's that kind of coat, it's not bad. Look, there's no, not too much there. And a big fresh white blouse. I like it. Okay, next. Very excited by this. And I'm gonna think how I'm gonna show you. It was a suit and I found that the fabric the way they photograph it, it looked really expensive, the fabric. It looked like a beautiful raw silk, or silk, not raw silk, like that. So I'm gonna try that. Okay, lots of things here. So I did have some trousers with this. Now the trousers are 69 pounds, which for Zara is expensive, but the fabric is really pretty. It's uh, sort of silk, looks like it's silk. I'll check if it is silk inside the label. 88% wool. 8% polyamide and 4% elastane. That's a good combination, actually. Okay, should we try them on? Really great shape of trouser. The pleats go outward, which is flattering when you're doing this quite pleated look. They don't go inward. So that means they sit flatter here. I actually, in all my suiting, I don't have a black suit. So I was so excited to get this. I've got so small there. So it's double-breasted. If you wore it double-breasted, it's going to give you a little bit of a waist, like that. Because the trousers are really wide, I don't mind the jacket ends here because you don't see where my bottom is hanging down. So that works well. And then I'll probably just wear it open as well. I am so excited by this suit. It's the first time in a long time that I'm thinking this is really wonderful quality. This will be a classic black suit I will have in my wardrobe, literally forever. That is staying. Next. Oh, it's exciting when you find something that you think, yes, that really works. This is a sort of sleeveless gilet. So I love the idea of it when I want to do that long layering. The first one I'm trying is a small and I thought I should get a medium as well. But now I've realized that the seam goes all the way up to the waist. I might be all right in a small. And then I quite like to have that popping out. I have a long sleeve shirt. Normally. And then you could just have your sleeves pop out. It's at the perfect location. This is such a nice layering piece. Fabric is different from the trousers. The trousers are more silky. This is more like a wool gabardine. Um, and then I'm just going to put that on top like this. And then throw on a set of. Should I throw on a set of pearls? If you have, if you do modesty dressing, this is a really brilliant 
suit as well. It might be a bit old fashioned for this, but let's see what that looks like, like that. Really great. I think I'd like it with a big white cuff poking out. So think of it like that or else I can do it for you. But this is staying. I'm just gonna very quickly show you if there's anything else, but I love this suit. So this is the next one, which is a weird color, but it's some trousers with a waistcoat. I'm gonna try it on and see what it's like. This is like a black trouser I got from Zara recently. And it's this shape they've done where it crosses over and just then there's an internal button there. So I love the idea of this just draped across. So it's like a skirt trouser. Again, it's very much this layering moment. I'm not sure about the shape of the waistcoat. I think these from the side are nice. And from the other side, it's like you're sort of wearing a long skirt. And then you get that look when you do that when you walk, as if anyone would, but you know what I mean. Slightly worried about the cut of this waistcoat. They've done the cut in a weird place. It's really bad. I think that's an odd place to do the top button. If you have a round neck on underneath, it might be all right. Like that, so it's like that. I think it's got merit. I have to see it in the daylight, the colour. It's not a colour I normally wear. I think with this, I'll have to like buy, put in like an orange lip on or something. Let's try that now. I need to put some shosha on. Yeah. You need that pop. If you look in my book, you can see that this is a colour for you. And then I'll just put some blusher there. Better rub it in, hey? Like that. There. I was, I was nearly going to put the coat on with it to see how all these colours look together. Kind of nice. Different colour palette, but... I really like that. In the electric light, I love the colours. We'll have to see in daylight. I don't know what to keep. Definitely the black suit, because I don't have a black suit. This is interesting for me to wear, and I want to look at other things in my wardrobe. So when I get back from my travels, I'm going to see what else I'd wear it with. But nice new winter editions. Thanks for watching.